Hello YouTube, so I just have a quick video for you today. We're going to take a look at a rare pike cichlid that I've been holding on to for the last two or three weeks. Uh, it doesn't have a common name, uh, or a scientific name for that matter. It was wild out of the Atabapo River. I don't know, I'll have to look that up, I don't remember. Uh, but let's take a look at it and hopefully someone here knows what it is. Alright, so here we are, we're looking at a 20 gallon long, you can see him poking his head out. This is what I assume to be the male. There are two of them in here. I'm hoping it's male and female. The female normally hides under here, but uh, I did just scrub the front of the glass so they're kind of in skittish mode. They're just now coming out, of course I missed the one spot of algae where this guy's going to be hanging out, so it's kind of blurry. Now, like I said, these are from the Atabato River. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Maybe I am. I don't know. Uh, but no common name, no scientific name. It took me a while to figure out what they like as far as food. And surprisingly, it's crab cuisine. So I'm going to see if I can get this guy to come out and drop some pellets in here. There he is. Look at that guy. So this definitely looks like the male. We're getting some nice blues and purples on his fins. This is just an awesome, awesome looking fish. I don't know, the female though is still real skittish, even when I feed. So I don't know that we're gonna see her come out. So I did find the female hanging out in the back, but it's probably not going to focus on her. You can only see her snout sticking out anyways. Too much crap on the glass. So while this guy is really rambunctious now, it took him a couple weeks, but he's out and about, the female still will only come out at night, so I do have to feed at night as well. But basically, looking for help to identify these, uh, like I said, they were just sold as species Octobato. Okay, here she comes. She's starting to smell the food, but it's pretty much already gone. And like I said, she's back into her normal hiding spot. This is where she hangs out. Uh, see if I can grab some more food for her. Hopefully I can do this without scaring her off. Of course, now she's gone. And that male's gonna get him again. Even if this turns out to just be an unsubscribed species that never has a name, I'm okay with that too because they look awesome. There will be some trial and error going with that as there is pretty much no way to look up any type of information on them as far as compatibility, tank mates, things like that. But uh, you can kind of guess from where they're coming from and what other fish are in that river. So these will be going in the 240 gallon tank when it is set up, which of course means they'll be going with the puffer and the angelfish and some rainbows. Now that's pretty much going to fill out the stock of that tank because these guys should get quite a bit bigger. Well, maybe like four or five inches longer. We'll see. I don't know. That's just what I'm guessing though. So there you go. If anyone has any experience with pike cichlids, I believe actually these are the first pikes I have ever kept. I'm trying to think. Uh, and they might be. I, while I've kept pike-like cichlids, uh, like the teleogramma, meaning that they look like pike cichlids, but they're not really actual pike cichlids. So uh, if anyone has any good resources for pike cichlids, leave them down in the comments. I would appreciate it. Or if you have any uh, advice on these specific pike cichlids, I would also appreciate that. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to hit the like or the dislike and subscribe, and we'll see everyone next time.